So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and today we're going to be talking about World War 2 Zombies. Now DLC 1 is only a week or so away which is really exciting and me personally cannot wait for there to be more Zombies content because Zombies are a bit of a dry period and I feel like a new map is definitely going to give this game a lot more life. Let me know if you guys are still playing World War 2 Zombies quite regularly. But anyway, over on the COD Zombie subreddit, a Sledgehammer developer who we can assume to be Cameron Dayton has done a a big post updating zombies on community concerns and this is really important because from the launch of the game until now we've had barely any sort of response from the developers of zombies at all. There's been quite a few things which people have been disappointed with or upset about and there's been no communication from the developer side. During games like IW for example Lee Ross was extremely vocal on Twitter and we sort of took it for granted because that sort of communication with fans directly is an incredible dedication to the craft and making sure that everyone one is happy and that's all communication allows for more discussion around zombies as well as anything that needs to be fixed and generally makes you feel better about the game knowing that developers are extremely passionate and are vocal about things they know that need addressing but on this reddit post they mentioned a few issues that they're investigating and for which are currently in the works this includes a split screen issue where it included the requested a command not received issue leaderboards not updating properly the guver 43 not unlocking properly which has been a bug for a little while now spectating after bleeding out without using self revive various ui fixes and improvements and one that is really big is a bomber step issue for the hurricane battery i don't know what exactly the issue is but this step alone is extremely annoying and i know a lot of people including myself now learn that you can shoot the bombs off the bomber zombies and then have those die by the saw blades but nevertheless this is a really annoying step and perhaps they're making it a little bit easier it's a little bit vague on what they mean by that but another issue which we mentioned earlier the Gua 43 not unlocking properly apparently there's a lot of issues where that gun can't be used as a starting weapon so hopefully that will get a fix as well but it's really good that sledgehammer games are finally listening and wanting to communicate with us directly and they say they've got more fixes coming in future updates so be sure to check those out when they post them on the world war 2 subreddit nevertheless if they are big changes to zombies then you, of course you'll find it here as well now a few days ago there was a trailer released for a new community event coming to World War 2 called The Resistance and this is of course coming out just before the actual DLC launch where it's celebrating all things related to that as well as there being new weapons and multiplayer and new double XP and new game modes including Prop Hunt which is awesome but Zombies has gotten no love at all besides there being a double XP weekend during the initial first days or if not a week after the DLC has come out and I don't think that's quite enough. I feel like Zombies needs its own thing. Multiplayer is doing so well and they're making so many big changes to multiplayer all the time and it's great that so much focus has been put onto it but I feel like Zombies definitely doesn't get enough love. But I'd like to get your thoughts down below in the comment section on what you feel of that. Do you feel like Zombies doesn't get enough love? Do you not care for them to do anything with regards to community events involving Zombies? And also let me know where are you at in terms of you playing World War 2 Zombies? Do you play it every day? Have you you played it maybe a week or so ago if you not touched the game at all for weeks and weeks on end i'd be very very interested to hear what your thoughts and opinions are with this topic and i definitely think this first dlc is definitely going to breathe new life into it and they saw everything that was good and what was bad about the final right and hopefully they can adapt to that feedback if they have enough time of course because dlc ones normally finished pretty quickly after the games come out but going forwards hopefully the game will only get better and better and I'll be honest, I love the Final Reich. I think it's a fantastic map and the mode in general is really good and very, very close to the classic Zombies gameplay that we love. But I just feel like there isn't enough there and I've played it the least out of any other Zombie games if I can remember from this time last year. I definitely put a lot more time into IW and definitely a lot more time into Black Ops 3 without doubt. So hopefully with DLC 1, they pack a load more stuff in so there's a lot more cool little Easter eggs. Like the PPSH Easter egg was so cool in the Final Reich and if there was more stuff like that in this new map, then that would definitely be 
awesome. But there we go, just a little video talking about the top issues and concerns that Sledgehammer are currently working on. There's, of course, going to be bigger issues and concerns as well, which aren't being worked on quite this moment, but they will be coming in future game updates. And if you guys have anything which you feel needs to be addressed in World War II Zombies, definitely drop it down below in the comment section. I'm sure someone at Sledgehammer might be watching this video, and you never know, your feedback could impact the game in a big way. But thank you for watching. Make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video, and I'll catch you guys for another one very, very soon.